Hey everyone and welcome back to Leo's Tech Corner. Today I'm going to show you an ultra low cost micro tech device, perfect for traveling, using as a testing router or at a place where network speeds are low, like a cottage. In this video I'll show you the device itself, take a deep dive into all the technical specs and at the end I'll show you just how easy it is to set it up. So let's get started. First, let's take a closer look at the HAP light. On the front we can see a micro USB power jack, a reset button, activity and power LEDs, four Ethernet ports, one of them is for WAN and the other three are for LAN. On the side we can see a mode switch and the place where the USB port would, would be. On the top of the device we can see the router board branding and some ventilation holes. Now let's dive into the technical specs of the Microtik Haplite. The Haplite has a 650 MHz CPU, 32 MB of RAM and 16 MB of built-in storage. It comes with the Router OS Level 4 installation out of the box. As for the connections, the Haplite has four 100 Megabit Ethernet ports and Wi-Fi 4 capabilities. It also supports the CAP access point system, so if you want to, you can use it as an access point. As for power consumption, Microtik says it can use up to 3.5 volts of power, which is very good. Based on my measurements, it was even less at 1 watt idle and every Ethernet link added additional 0.1 to 0.2 watts. As I said, I'll now work, walk you through the setup process. First, you take your Ethernet cable from your modem, wireless antenna or your fiber optical network terminal and plug it into the Ethernet port. Then, you can take your Ethernet cable for your computer and plug it into port number 2 or any other LAN ports. Then you can take your micro USB power adapter, plug it into the power port and as you can see the router spins to life. It takes a very short time for it to boot and now it's ready to be configured. After you have connected to your router, go to 192.168.88.1 in your web browser. This will open the WebFig management interface. You can also go to microtik.com and download the Winbox management software. Either way, the setup is the same. The login credentials are admin for the username and no password. After logging in, you'll be prompted to change the password. The old password is nothing and you can do a new password. You can change it and now You'll go to Quick Set and you have uh, different modes to choose from. The mode you should use is Home AP. 
here you can see a lot of settings for the internet, local network, VPN access, and down here is wireless. You can set up your name, so mine will be Microtik. You can choose the band, either B, G or N, so different Wi-Fi standards. And you can also set the password. Once you set all the settings, you can click apply configuration and that will apply all the settings. Overall, the Microtik Haplite is great for learning the Microtik Router OS operating system or for light internet use in rural areas. You get a powerful feature set with very good low power consumption at a great price. And that is all for today. I really hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask in the comments or in my Discord server. If you liked the video, hit that like button, and if you want to see more networking and tech content, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.